I hope this was about food. Breath. Believe me when I say it is probably not. Chocolate. This is most likely about behavior, avocado, compulsivity, or even human reaction to disturbing episodes of their lives. Has coffee. If it was about food, it would be banana much much easier i believe now it is too late to change it but i'm still not sure if i want to keep chewing gum aquelas que eu trago de portugal em pacotes industriais na verdade tudo começou when i realized i had a thing for calves yes calves Do you know those moments when you are surrounded by that ingredient from your I cannot stop eating list and, for a moment, you completely lose control and do not think about sun? Yeah, I have those moments quite often. It is a jelly forward to recognize this compulsivity, but to celebrate that. And there is nothing wrong about being compulsive. Well, it depends, of course, but I love being a compulsive and compassionate woman. The only problem here is that I know I will be corn once it is a choice and not a disease. I really don't want to get emotional here, but I'm in one of those days. What I'm trying to explain is what for some of you chocolate is cigarettes after sex, for me is calves after eggs. And then I ask myself, why am I drinking tea if what I really, really want is a cappuccino? You know, cinnamon, coffee. Oh, I love coffee. More coffee, always more coffee. And it's never bread. 
Oh, and if you would lipstick. And then I continue in this circle without stopping. And I start getting really, really pasta with myself because Avocado, no idea how chocolate controls jelly. Excellent, right? And in that moment, everything's sunny in this world. It drives me coffee. And, and just please, please keep in mind that this is not about milk. Thank <laughs> you.